Not only will we have a new president, but we'll also have a new vice president. She leads the way, holding so many firsts. She is the first woman and the first VP of color. Khalil, you spoke with some of the community members about Kamala Harris becoming the first vice president who's a woman and a woman of color nonetheless. Uh, what it means to them, and I know, I have seen so much chatter on social media, I can feel the excitement. Good morning, Sabrina. The people I spoke to said it's an historical moment and they'll be watching the inauguration closely because they're filled with joy knowing someone who looks like them will soon hold such a high position. She's the first African-American woman, the first Asian-American woman, um, the first HBCU graduate, and of course the first woman at all to be in that position. First, which Ashley Stort says makes her proud. It's really exciting um, and it's really monumental. Growing up, Stort says she expected one day a woman of color would hold a high position in this country, but never knew when. And now that she has a daughter, she hopes Harris gives her the confidence to know anything is possible for me to show my little girl that there's someone who looks like her in the White House helping out the president uh, change the nation. That's something that can't be quantified. And every time she's on screen, I'll make sure that I tell my daughter Alexandria to pay attention. It is also important that boys understand that girls are leaders. And the secretary of the Des Moines branch of the NAACP says she's also excited about the new VP. It means potential for a more accepting generation of boys who will become men. That this will also be an amazing time for young men um, to see a woman in a position of power and understand that that is a normal thing. Ebony Woods also hopes when Kamala Harris, a uh, name people called unique and made fun of, steps into the office, it shows others that a name is just a name. Let's let's embrace new new ideas of what it means to have uh, have a unique name. And Stort says now she feels like Harris can give a voice to a group of women who were basically voiceless. She comes from that history of being an African-American woman, being raised in America. She knows what it feels like. And so I think she brings that thought process to the table. And Wood says she initially planned on going to the D to DC to be there for this historical moment. But with the events that happened a couple of weeks ago and the COVID-19 rise, she decided to just stay at home and watch this with her family.